What's up guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Jeff and today I have a special guest, Mr. Niels Corbeau. Hey guys. That's right. So, the guitarist of Sirenia, thank you for having me today, bro. That's thank really you. nice of you. Yeah. So first, I would like to, um, to know a little bit more about you, so if you can just introduce yourself. Okay, so, so uh, my name is Niels. Uh, first cheers of all. Cheers. <laughs> This is war outside, no? Yeah, fuck? it's fucking. Ah, oh, no, it's fucking bonfire here. Bonfire. Yeah, because after Halloween in London, it's always bonfire. You can check here. There you go. <laughs> All right. So if you can just talk yeah, about yourself, so, yeah. what do you do? Who are you? Uh, so there you I'm go. the guitar player of uh, Syrnia and uh, also the guitar player of the French metal band Tank. Think of a new kind. Think of a new kind, not right. the heavy metal band. All right, <laughs> nice. So my first question is, when did you start to play the guitar? Uh, I started to play guitar when I was something like 13. Okay. And you know, by learning some of Art Maiden, Halloween, Art Enemy. Old school stuff, yeah. yeah. Nice. And uh, I spent all my teenage year to uh, play in my parent basement mm -hmm. with my friends. Then 2010, I joined my first band called Lear Journey. It's a kind of death prog metal. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, 2012, I joined Think of a New Kind. And in May uh, this year, I joined Sirnia. Nice. Remember. Yeah. That's fucking cool, man. Yeah. How did you... So find the plan to work with Sirenia? Well, uh, it's a long story. Uh, we were on tour with Tank mm -hmm. for the Tour Majestic of Sorwak with 8 Sphere in 2015. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I checked the video with uh, Bjorn, right? With he did a featuring yeah, yeah. with you guys. Oh, that's amazing. On the song Blood Welsh. Uh, yes, yes, true. And um, I met Jacqueline. Jacqueline was the, the merch girl of Soywa. All right. Okay. And after this tour, I joined a, a French metal band called Asylum Empire. Okay. A session member for just a tour with um, Luca Tuili in Rhapsody. Oh, nice. And uh, Jacqueline came to uh, our gig in Austria. And the thing is, Jacqueline is the, um, she, she's the girlfriend of Roland. Uh, Roland is one of the session drummers of Serenia. Oh, right. Oh, that's nice, man. That's nice. And uh, she came with Roland at the, at the gig. And after the show, we, we had some beer together. And, uh, Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, of course. <laughs> we talked about music. And uh, last year, in summer, uh, I got an email of Martin Villain from Sirenia. I was shaking, no? Yeah. Well, of course, because it's yeah, like it's a really, huge. it's yeah. a big band now, so... And he got I my email imagine. by Roland. Mm -hmm. Roland got my email from Martin. Then he was looking for a lead guitarist for that tour uh, with uh, the Birthday Massacre, the Agonist. Okay, yeah. Um, Set our darling. And uh, I said, of course, yes. Yeah, I of course. That. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And, and you were already into symphonic metal yeah, and stuff or already. I with thought Halloween. you were start with Iron Maiden, Halloween. Yeah, but I'm fan of. So Red you Sky. were familiar with this kind of yeah, genre. Yeah, I, love yeah, that. I see. Oh, that's. I love Sword and Dragon. And <laughs> yeah. And Lucas Turilli, Rob Sodi, yeah. and stuff. All yeah. oh, right. And, and uh, oh, sorry, you did. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> and. Um, I said yes. I, I, I do the tour and uh, the tour was absolutely amazing. Every night, for fuck's sake, it was a blast. <laughs> Every night. It was nice. Nice. And we had a lot of fun. <laughs> and just one, one month after the tour, they adopted me. Nice. That's amazing. Yeah. And uh, I was curious, what gear do you use on stage? So, uh, I'm probably endorsed by ESP guitar. I, Nice. I love this brand. <laughs> nice. Yeah, nice. Nice. I used to play LTD before, but... Uh, oh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> That's and, the idea, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and for this tour, I'm playing on uh, my new ESP Horizon uh, E2. All right, yeah. With a Floyd Rose. Yeah, if with I the sorry. Floyd Rose. Uh, FR7 BTB. Yes. And uh, also my LTD MH1007 with the Everton Bright. Oh, Have you nice. ever heard about this? Everton Bridge, yeah, I like it, but it's just a little bit weird because 
Well, I'm not familiar with that, but when you want to do drop tuning and stuff, you have to do like some manipulation yeah, or something. Yeah, you have to use a key, so it's... Yeah, it's, it's not, like it's not difficult, but yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah, why. You have to fix it before the... Uh, but yeah, for the tuning, it's... I mean, when you're on studio, you can... You can strum as much as yeah. you want, yeah. 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 Doesn't move at all. Yeah, that's really cool. And uh, what kind of amplifier do you use? Sorry, of course, yeah. Are you uh, like the classical uh, guitarist? No, no, no. XFX, Kemper. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> ah, there you go. You yeah. are. <laughs> Usually I'm playing with a Kemper, but for this tour, um, I bring with me the new gig board, uh, Edrush. Headrush. Oh yeah, yeah. They, did, they just released this board, pedal board like a few months ago or yeah, something, right? It's like tiny like that. Yeah. With three switches. Uh, four. Four. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Nice. And uh, how is it on stage? Oh, there are three on four. Fuck it. We don't. I don't know exactly. So fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna put the link in the description, right? <laughs> the thing is, it's really intuitive. And, uh, it's tactile. It's yeah. Screen tactile, so you can move your stuff everywhere you want. You can do everything you want. It's absolutely amazing. Nice. Really easy to use for a poor guy like me. <laughs> I can. I, I don't know how to use a hemp, a real hemp. So yeah. for me, it's pretty cool to use that kind of stuff. You know. Nice. And yeah, you can uh, do amp simulation, cabinet simulation. Yeah. You just plug it in the PN. That's it. Yeah. And your guitar, of course, and that's it. You have to. You, you have to try some stuff. You know, what's Dirt Screamer? Yeah. EQ. You know. Nice. Oh, that's really interesting. And uh, my last question. Last question. Well, no, I have two last questions. Sorry. What's uh, what's the future for you? So how are you uh, gonna see yourself in like next year? What you gonna do with Tank, with Sirenia, with your solo project? Because I saw you have a solo project, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what if, okay. I have an album almost ready, but I don't have the time to record it. Fair enough. Because man. Sirenia it's normal. Because of Tank. It's normal. Because, yeah. Uh, but uh, what, yeah, plan, what you wanna do? Yeah. The plan are uh, we are on tour. Uh, the, our European tour ta- start today. In London, no? Yeah. Um, come, come see us. It's gonna be a fucking blast. Come tonight. to see us. There. Uh, where are you playing tomorrow? Uh, boss. Uh, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. In Paris. Tomorrow they're playing in Paris, guys. So come try to see them. But I think the take time the Eurostar. Come the Paris. time I'm gonna make this video on YouTube, I think they will be gone already. So just follow them on Facebook. I will put some links in the description. All right. And uh, yeah, it's a European tour with Triosphere. Um, Mind Wish for season, season of Cheers. Oh, nice. And uh, Paratra, oh. Indian, Indian male band. Yeah, 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 I heard about them. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's <laughs> Indian and metal. Indian metal. Fair enough. <laughs> it's and good to get everything, you know. <laughs> and uh, after this tour, we, we have a gig at the Master of Rock. Master of Rock. Winter, yeah. winter Master of Rock. Wow, nice. And in 2019, we plan to go in South America. So with Sirenia, right? R- with Sirenia. Yeah. In South America, maybe in North America, we'll see. Again in Europe. And uh, I hope we'll have some gig for the summer festival. And maybe Asia, chi- chi- Asia China, yeah. China, or China, Japan. Uh, Japan, we'll see. Nice. Nice. And uh, yeah, for Tank, uh, our, the album is really in, is really huge. Yeah, as you told is, me, you're looking yeah, for a label. We right? are looking for a label. We, yeah. we want to promote it as much as possible. So if you're working in a label company, guys, check them out. They're fucking amazing. They are fucking insane. You should check them Thank out. You. Cheers. Nice. Cheers for that. <laughs> And uh, yeah, the, my last question is, uh, you know I'm a guitar teacher, right? And uh, I was wondering if you have one advice to give to my students or for a guy who's just studying the guitar, what, what would it be? Um, you know, when I started to play guitar, it was because in my, my mind, I, I was just... Dude, I, Blowing. When, when I will be... Uh, when, when, I, I, when I'll be a man, yeah. I won't... I want to be Iron Maiden. Yeah, all right. Same as me with Korn. All right, yeah. I get it. You know what I mean? Yes. Sometimes students are just here because their parents want the children to play guitar, you know? Yeah. But the poor is all but just won't play with here. His just his four, just you know? do it. Yeah. yeah, just do it. All right. That's cool. And uh, yeah, I think my best advice is listen to all the music as possible. 
metal, jazz, flamenco, I don't know. Yeah. And uh, when you, you you'll find your your thing, you just need to work. You heard that, right? Every day. You heard that, guys. Yeah. Now no fucking excuses. Anyway, thank you for having me today, Niels. That was a real pleasure. And uh, don't forget to check in with Sirenia and Think of a New Kind. And uh, if you enjoy this new content on my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see like other famous guitarists, just let me know in the comment section. Yeah. You have a last word to say to my subscribers? For fuck's sake, Elko. <laughs> It's our <also> manager. <laughs> see you guys.